Hello students, let us prove today two theorems from the topic circle. Theorems are theorem of internal division of chords and theorem of external division of chords. So start with the first theorem, theorem of internal division of chords. Let us have its statement. Suppose two chords of a circle intersect each other in the interior of a circle, then the product of the lengths of two segments of one chord is equal to the product of lengths of two segments of the other chord. Now let us try to illustrate this by using a diagram. Suppose there is one circle with center P and as we can see chord AB and chord CD are intersecting at point E which is inside the circle. So if it is the case then we have to prove that the product of lengths of two segments of one chord that means for chord AB two segments are AE and BE which are made due to the point of intersection E. So if we take a product of AE and B, it must be equal to the product of length of two segments of the other chord. So two segments of the other chord are CE and ED. So if we take a product of CE and ED, it must be equal to AE into EB that we have that we have to prove. So for this diagram given is chord AB and chord CD of a circle with center P intersect at point E. That's given. And from that we have to prove that AE into EB is equal to CE into ED. So again as we can see in the diagram AE into B that must be equal to CE into ED. And to prove this we have to do one construction. We have to join points A and C and points B and D. So that is the construction for segment AC and segment DB. By doing this construction, we have got two triangles, triangle CAE and triangle PDE. We have to show that these two triangles are similar. If we can show these two triangles are similar, then we will get the result. Now for these two triangles, we have the first pair of congruent components that is angle AEC is congruent to angle DEB. As these two angles are vertically opposite angles, they must be congruent. Now we have another component that is angle CAE is congruent to angle BDE as both of these two angles are inscribed in the same arc that is angle CAE and angle BDE are inscribed in arc CAB and we know that if there are two angles which are inscribed in the same arc those must be congruent that's why these two angles are congruent as these are angles inscribed in the same arc. Now we have two pairs of angles of these two triangles which are congruent that's why these two triangles must be similar by A test. That is angle CAE is similar to triangle BDE by A test. As these two triangles are similar the corresponding sides must be in proportion. Now we have to select sides that we are that we have to prove that means we have to take side AE. So if we consider the second and third vertex of the first triangle, then we get side AE. Its corresponding side is DE. So we have AE divided by DE that is equal to we need here again CE. So we'll take the first and the third vertex CE. Its corresponding side is BE. So that is equal to CE divided by B as these are corresponding sides of similar triangles. Now if we cross multiply, we get AE into EB that is equal to CE into ED. That is we wanted to prove A into EB is equal to CE into ED. This theorem is called as theorem of internal division of chords. So let us revise this one. Suppose this is a circle where chord AB and chord CD intersect each other at point E which is inside the circle. Then in this case we have AE into EB that is equal to CE into ED and this property is known as theorem of chords intersecting inside the circle. 